Bony, where are you? you? Need to go find him. Oh, oh my God! I was trying to avoid the roach, but the other one just came. These things are very annoying. Yeah, I don't know how to do this. Doesn't matter, they're dead. It'd be amazing if I could ever pull off a 16 hit combo attack, which is never going to happen in my life. Don't poison me, please. Please don't poison me. Okay, good. Run! What's up? Life Noodles double jerky. I don't really need double jerky. Well, everyone's full. Everyone's inventory's full, so I can't really do anything. Is this an apartment? The fuck? What? Um. I remember you. Yeah, I need to save. This is his house? Letter? Whatever your name is. How do you know there's no one inside? Bony! I chased after a strange smelling bug and somehow wound up here. Good job, Bony. But never mind that. Look what's inside this next room. What is he doing down here? Stink bug think it's hiding. Yes, it's me. Letter, leader, whatever you want to call him. The bell ringer. It must be a real shock to hear me speaking for once. It wasn't that I couldn't talk all this time. I simply chose not to. As I rang that crossbell road, deep inside my heart, I had, des I had decided I would speak to no one. But the secrets I've been guarding are now starting to leak out. Lucas, the time has come to tell you everything. What I'm about to tell you, you might not want to know. Even so, you absolutely must hear it. It will be a long story, but please listen to it all. No! Okay, fine. Given who you are and how you've lived, what I have to say will tear you tear at your hearts and there is just so much to tell so I've decided to have the stink bug tremble behind me memorize 
Stinkbug, trembling behind me, memorize everything I say. Ready, Mr. Stinkbug? That's just some green dots. That's not a stink. I'm kidding. Long ago, there established a w there existed a world. I don't know what I'm saying. A world different from what the people on these islands think of. This world was incredibly big. More people lived on the world than there are grains of sand on these nowhere islands. I know it may be hard to imagine, but such a world once existed. Understand? No. At some point, the world wound up destroyed. Naturally, it was humans who destroyed it. In the bank of their minds, everyone had an inkling that it would happen at some point. And, though, and then, it really did happen. And so, the world is no more. Everything so far has been about the end of the world. Do you understand all of it? Just before the end of the world, a white ship came to these islands. On it were all the people of Tasmili Village. Yes, aboard the white ship were those few who managed to escape the world. The people on this ship still went by their names from the previous world. This white ship planned had been set into place before the world was destroyed. And although they're part of the world, these nowhere islands are a special place. They were the one place that would remain even if the world was lost. The one and the only place where people could survive. And so the white ship arrived at these islands. Everything so far has been about the white ship. Do you understand all of it? Sure. Have you committed everything so far to my memories, Mr. Stinkbug? The reason these islands are special is because they harbor a giant dragon nearly as large as the islands themselves. Long, long ago, people lived together with the dragon. However, at some point in their time, the people and the dragon could no longer coexist. So using the seven needles, the dragon was placed into a long, long sleep by the ancestors of the people who lived since lived here since ancient times. Ever since, the have guarded the needles in an effort to prevent the dragon from being woken until its power is truly needed. Thus, until the time of its awakening, the dragon continued to sleep as the power of the earth itself and so, because of the tremulous energy of the dragon him deep below, these islands were reflected to the end of the world. Everything so far has been about the d those thingies. Those who came aboard the white ship feared another end of the world more than anything else. They felt that the world's destruction was a direct, as direct result of the way they had lived. The people of the white ship discussed things at great length. They shared their wisdom and spoke with great grave seriousness. And then they arrived at their conclusion. They decided to completely erase everyone's memories of the pre previous world and start their lives over with new rules and new roles. Yes. In short, everyone who play out the ideal story that would have come up with, that is what happened. The people would restart their lives in a simple peaceful village in the kind of the place they wish they had grown up in. They would erase their memory of everything, the world, their belongings, their rules, and then they would begin new lives. Everyone's old memories would be reset and replaced with the newly created story, and thus the village of Tasmili came to be. However, it was necessary to record the fact that the memory placement had taken place. The hummingbird egg was the device used to store the memories of the white ship people. Wes and his son Duster, both playing the roles of thieves, were set to take action should a dangerous situation occur. Remember when they went to old oh, castle? They went there to retrieve the secret of the people of the white ship. And there's one more thing, me. It was essentially that the one previous one person retained the memory of the previous world to sort of keep watch over things. I was the one in the village. I was the only one in the village of Tasmili who 
wasn't given a role in the new story. The sound of my bell served as a suggestion to keep everyone's fabricated memories from reverting. My name, Letter, comes from the word leader. No, no, that doesn't mean I wasn't anyone special. I, it was just that I was particularly taller than all the others. So upon discussion, I was selected, being it would be easier for me to stand out. Being so tall, people would want to come see me, you know? And so I was given the role of revealing these secrets when the time truly called for it. Everything so far has been about the... the, the yeah, I know. Although Tasmili Village is just in reality, it was originally created as a part of a story. I know this may be difficult to believe, but you understand so far? Let me also talk about that castle. Apparently, long ago, a kingdom existed on this island centered around the king. However, when we arrived, the white chip people in the kingdom were gone. Um. It seems as though they left the islands, fearing the dragon's eventual awakening someday. Before boarding the white ship, Princess Kumator was an infant who lost her mother and father. Upon coming to these islands, she was given to the to raise, and given the role of the princess of that castle. Wes and Duster being their, her retainers was another part of the fabricated story. castle is one of the few and precious relics of this island's past. We crafted our story in haste, so the people inside it have very little past of, or history. Have you noticed no one in Tasmili can talk about things from a hundred or a thousand years ago? In truth, we had wanted to create an entire plethora of myths and legends, but our story was made in such a hurry that we weren't able to. It's a real shame. I'm sure that much of what I'm saying you'd rather not hear, but it's the truth. Have you listened to everything so far? Have you committed to everything so far? The memory, Mr. Sinkbug. Truthfully, we had no idea how Tasmili Village would turn out, but things actually went rather well. The people who had arrived on the white ship had fully taken to their new identities. They believed this had always they believed they had always lived together peacefully. It was when a person by the name of Porky stumbled upon these islands that everything started to go amok. It seems as he used a time disorder machine to travel through time and space at will. However, he was apparently shut out from all other thing from all other times and spaces and tumbled into this area era and these islands. Even worse, he used this time disorder to bring many people from other eras here. The pig masks, as well as everyone in New Pork City, were all brought here and brainwashed by Porky. This Porky fellow seems to view these islands as his own personal toy box, with which he can do anything he wants. He would take the animals apart and recombine them to creepy new chimeras. As a childlike dictator, he began doing whatever he pleased, including building Thunder Tower and forming his own army. Porky eventually learned the white ship secret because of the because of a traitor among the Majigi. You understand the intruder known as Porky? This traitor was Lucoria. The seventh village, and the only one you haven't met yet. After Lucoria, Locoria, Lucor, Locoria joined the forces with Porky. Porky learned about the White Ship people and the secrets of the Sleeping Dragon. Porky decided to pull the needles to wake the dragon, so he could use the power for himself. The dragon is the power of the very earth, you see. It said, "Whoever pulls the seven Whoever pulls the sealing needles will become the dragon's master. However, only a few select are capable of pulling the dragon's needles. Apparently, neither the Majigis nor Porky have that capability. I can't see. capability. Yet the needles are being pulled now. That means Porky is somehow controlling someone who can control the dragon's power. 
we have to put a stop to Porky's antics. If we don't, the world will be completely destroyed again. And it will spell the true end for everything. For Porky, that might be the ultimate pleasure, but we can't allow it to happen. We, the last handful of people there are, absolutely can't allow it to happen. Lucas, it seems you are the chosen one. With the ability to pull the needle sealing the dragon away, you must pull the dark dragon's needle with your very own hands and pass your heart onto the dragon. Let this be my one and only order to you as your leader. Do you understand everything about the dragon's awakening? Yeah. I hear that six of the dragon's needles have already been pulled. Deep in the earth, the dragon is likely to stir from its sleep now. Supposedly, the last needle somewhere here in New Pork City. Porky has been gathering everything that lives on these islands into New Pork City to prepare for the final needle's pulling. It's possible that he's planning to hold one final twisted party. But now is our chance to change this looming crisis into a golden opportunity. All things may come to an end, or new, bountiful things may begin. Would you like to help that happen, Lucas? You were once a weak, fragile boy, but now you have been given the tremendous role to fulfill. Now that you know everything, including... Every... Now that you know everything, including everything, what? Uh, everything, including everything that I'm sure you'd rather not know? Oh, okay. The time has come for you to save the future of all life as we know it. God won't make you bear any more than you can carry. I'm sure you've heard that phrase before. Know that you aren't fighting alone. Everyone, and I do mean everyone, will lend you their support. That was a long story, but that's the end of everything I have to tell you. Do you understand it all? Only the Medici really know the needle's location, so I don't know where to find them. But from the way Porky and the others have been acting, I would say you are very close to reaching the seventh needle. Please, Lucas, be the one who pulls the final needle. Porky issues his orders from the hundredth floor of the Empire Porky building. Start by jumping onto the fray and storming the building. After that, you can start looking for clues. It's been such a long time since I've spoken to anyone, and now I'm exhausted. The stink bug should remember everything I just said. Take him with you. That way, if you happen to forget anything I've said here, you can ask him to repeat it. Will you go with him, Mr. Stinkbug? And now we go. To go kill Porky! I think. I don't know. What, what, what did he say? I wasn't listening. We're supposed to do what? Let's go. Now, how do I get back? That's... I'm gonna have to find my way back. Ah! <laughs> that guy talked too much. Um... I'm pretty sure I can just ke get healed as soon as I get out of here, so whatever, everyone just do your shit. No, actually, no. You can attack. You use this. No, I'll save that for later. I'm not just going to use it. You can do your shit. I still don't know how that works. It's a trash can and whatever. It's amazing. Oh, 
Oh, sweet hot spring. Forgot about this. So that was the entire story of everything and backstory of this. And now we must go to the Empire State. What, what's it called? And what was it called? The building? Okay, I was looking at him. That's not fair. That's right. You have to answer the duster now. Oh, great. Okay, I'm gonna get healed as soon as I get out of here. So. I think fire does anything to them. Oh, it actually did something. Yeah, level ups. Run! Oh, we're still poisoned. Ah, oh, what? Is it really a roach right there? Run! Oh no. I was not prepared for a fight. Wait, what? <laughs> the one and ate his.